Hello and welcome to another Rock My Life video. I'm your host, Jeff Safford. Today I'm going to teach you a thruster. A uh, thruster is basically a squat combined with a shoulder press. Thrusters are good because they work a lot of antagonist muscle groups. So when you're not training for climbing, you can do thrusters and work the antagonist muscles all in kind of one exercise. You can do these, uh, you can do these heavy. You can do heavy sets with an Olympic bar um, or dumbbells. Or you can use a, a kettlebell like I'm going to show you today and you can do higher rep sets and kind of make it more of a cardio exercise. Okay, so a long time ago I taught you a squat, so you should have a good idea what a squat is. Um, also with shoulder pressing, the reason why I don't like shoulder pressing on a bench, like sitting on a bench and having two dumbbells and pressing straight overhead. First of all, it only works those muscles, it works to the shoulders, and that's, that's okay, I mean, that's good. It's not like complete, uh, complete isolationist exercise. However, this position is a vulnerable position for the shoulder. It opens up the front of the shoulder, and it's not as a strong position as when your shoulders are in tight in this position. So when your shoulders are in tight, uh, whether you're using a barbell in the front rack position and pushing straight overhead, or using two dumbbells or a kettlebell, this position is much stronger and much safer for the shoulders than being way out here. And you should be able to feel that. I mean, it feels stronger and more secure in this position than when you're flexed out and overextended in this position. So when I hold the kettlebell for a thruster, I hold it around the, the ball part, put my thumbs through the handle. So here's a thruster. Again, uh, good squat form. Keep your back straight. Knees don't go past the toes when you squat down. And press straight overhead. From the side view. And that's the thruster.